Hi, this is Big Boat Ben, and today I'm going to be walking you through a Grady White 2005 282 sailfish, and this one is really fully loaded. This thing is a fishing machine. Uh, it's been owned by a mechanic and pit crew member uh, from an Indy 500 winning team, so you can imagine, uh, you know, at that caliber of racing, somebody uh, that is involved with that is going to take pretty good care of their equipment. Uh, it comes with a hydro hoist lift as well as a triple axle trailer that has rarely been used and uh, you know it has brand new bunks on the trailer and it's um, it's galvanized disc brake trailer and it's just kept in storage. As we walk down the side of the boat you can see how shiny this thing is. It could stand a wash job. It's a little dirty right now. It's going to be washed this week uh, but even with a little bit of dust on it this thing is super clean. Um, it has two four-stroke Yamaha 225 motors on it with stainless steel props and um, they have about 865 hours on them uh, however the boat is used uh, once a month to go offshore for tuna so um, you know those hours will be changing um, up here we have taco brand outriggers really nice all the Isenglass was just replaced um, a couple weeks ago and it's it's like new it's it's beautiful all the bright work is beautiful. The boat's just in really good shape. Um, as we come aboard, we have rod holders all the way around. We have a two scoop bait tank. The cool thing is with this one is that you remove this first top, that's a cutting board. Then he has a second cutting board that will hold a couple beer cans. And then underneath that, you have the tank itself. Uh, back here, there is a, a door that goes over this uh, bait box here. It's off right now having uh, some gel coat repair done on it. The corner of it was chipped and so it's being redone. Here this seat folds up and that's a nice seat for when you're just cruising. Um, you have rod holder storage on either side here. See it here as well. Wash down here. You have tackle boxes here. You have another big ice chest in here. Um, the original stock bait tank is in this area with more storage here. Um, if you look at the upholstery, it's in really good condition. And, um, you know, you've got all the bells and whistles. This particular boat has a Simrad autopilot here. You have GPS here. Next to that, your marine radar. And then you have your tachometers here, fuel management and speed, um, Ritchie compass, your throttles are here. Up here we have two VHF radios for going offshore. Good to have a backup. And then we have a fish finder. So as you step into the cabin, you have these nice stairs that have this slip resistant fabric on it. But it's not like a typical non-skid. It's really, really plush looking, very classy. Uh, we have the microwave here. Nice stainless steel sink. With shower head here you can use, you know, if you need to get in there and wash some dishes or something. Um, under here we have our stove and this can also be used as a cutting board. Lots of storage here. You put all your knives, cooking utensils back here. XM radio, Kenwood uh, with CD player. Looks like a pretty nice one, detachable face. Um, you've got a nice little rack here that you can put more cooking stuff, maybe some spices or something. Um, opening window here in the galley. And then as we look forward, we have a big V-berth. Um, I'm six foot five and I could easily sleep in, in this and uh, have plenty of room. Um, now this converts into a dinette as well. And if you look under here, look how nice this Grady White table is. I mean, this thing is actually gorgeous. Can you see that shine on there? I mean, this thing looks like it's never been used. So we have a simulated wood flooring here. Actually, that's real wood. That's not simulated. That's a teak and holly sole. Very cool. Okay, up here we have an InSight flat screen television. Above that we have an opening hatch. We have Direct TV. This boat comes with Direct TV, and you'll be getting a uh, satellite on a stand that goes at the dock next to the boat, and then you can dial that in and watch Direct TV at the dock. Over here we have a DVD player, rod holders. And if you look, look at the headliner of this boat. Everything is in beautiful condition. You can tell this thing was really loved, really well taken care of. You have access here for uh, six more rods. More storage over here. Clean light. When we go into the head, got a nice electric head there. 
the sink faucet here comes up and attaches here to become the shower. You've got a towel rack here. And of course another opening porthole. Storage here. And a 110 outlet. Of course you have light in here as well. Uh, the whole back side of the store has a big mirror on it. And once again, everything, it looks like it was never really used. Um, there's a little bit of corrosion here. Um, a little tiny bit. I don't think it's pitted through, but there's a little tiny bit of pitting here. But nothing that I don't think can be taken off pretty easily. In fact, I'll look into having that removed. Um, got your toilet paper here. And a nice carpeted storage container in there so nothing rattles around. Okay, the midship berth, yeah, two kids, one adult, looks to be in good shape, it's, this is mainly used for storage on any of these boats. Alright, that about does it for the interior.